Hey guys, it's Krista and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm just hopping on here real quick to bring you guys an Ikea haul. Um, I went down there over the weekend um, all by myself for I think the first time ever um, I've been at Ikea by myself. So I just took my time and walked around, um, especially like the marketplace. I took a lot of time walking around there and I went for one thing and ended up with a ton of stuff. So I'm just gonna hop right in and hopefully this will not be like a crazy long haul. Um, I'll try not to talk too much. Uh, so I'm just gonna get started and I hope you guys enjoy. So the one thing that I actually went to Ikea for were these faux plants. I saw online that they were on sale for $2.99 a piece. And um, if you guys saw my last ikea haul like a couple months ago you saw that i picked one of these up and i just love it i just i love the look of it it doesn't it looks like a faux plant but it doesn't at the same time it's super farmhouse and shabby chic and i wanted to um get some to put some greenery into our guest room once our house is built so this is the reason that i went and these were i think these are originally like I want to say they're originally $5.99, but I feel like that's not right. Let's see. Okay, I want to say they're originally $5.99, and they were on sale for $2.99. And they actually don't sell them online. They just have them advertised online. And so I was like, well, I should probably go down there before these go um, out of season or whatnot and I can't find them anymore. So I picked up three because um, I want to do some um, macrame hanging pots from the um, the ceiling in our guest room. And so I thought these would look awesome in these terracotta pots that I got from Goodwill for $2. So I picked up three of these and they're going to go in um, macrame hanging uh, planters to hang from the ceiling in our guest room so I just I love how these look together and I'm really excited to put those together once we're in the new house the next thing that I picked up I guess I'll do everything for the guest room the next thing I picked up for the guest room was this alarm clock I thought this was super cute um, kind of retro and vintage uh, but I just thought that that would be really cute for the guest room just to be on a nightstand and um, this was, I think this was $5.99. Sorry, I'm like looking at the receipt. Um, this was $5.99, so a really great deal. Um, and so I just, I could not pass that up. The next item that I got for our guest room was this robe. Um, it's just a white robe. It's actually really, really soft. I am, I'm not really one for robes. I just have never liked the feeling of them. Um, but I knew that I wanted to get at least one or two for our guest room for when we have um, anyone staying over. And I honestly didn't realize how expensive robes are. I was like looking on Amazon and they were like between 30 and $50. And I was like, I don't wanna invest that much. So I got this one from Ikea and this was, I think they're originally like $24.99, but if you have like the family um, member card, uh, they were $19.99. And that's something about the family member card. Um, I signed up for it when I was at Ikea and um, they actually like ask you if you're, like what your living situation is, like if you're renting or owning or if you're like um, in the, if you're planning on moving anytime soon. And I checked that we were, you know, I was moving uh, soon and they asked like what date you're moving. So I put August, 2017 and they actually emailed me a $25 gift certificate to use in an Ikea store because we were moving. So I thought that was really cool. Um, I'm actually gonna print it off and I'll use it towards our new furniture that we're getting once we actually move in. Um, so I thought that was really, really cool. So if you guys are moving anytime soon, you should, you know, become an Ikea family member and you know, get that coupon this is not sponsored by the way anyways the next I think this is the last item for the guest room and I just picked up these wooden hangers um, these these hangers they come in 
pretty sure they come in like a dark brown, a natural, and then a white. And we have some white ones for Clayton's clothes in the closet. And I picked up these natural ones for the guest room closet just so our guests, you know, have places to hang their stuff. And I just liked these. I kind of feel like it went with the theme of everything. So I picked up two packs of these. And these are like $3.99, $4.99 for eight hangers. Um, so super nice and affordable. So I couldn't pass that up. And then the next um, like big, well I guess this is kind of for our guest bathroom is, I don't know if in the, my last Ikea haul I showed you guys the gray like bath mat of this, but I picked up the white one and honest truth, I love this bath mat. Berkeley loves laying on it while we're in the shower. Um, it's just so soft and it doesn't get really wet. It's like very absorbent. And so I picked this up. This was $7.99. And so we've got a gray one, we've got a white one, we've got two bathrooms. So we can switch them up, whichever one looks better um, in the bathroom. So I picked that up um, so that we will be prepared for when we move. And then I also picked up this acrylic set I've seen this everywhere on YouTube it's five pieces and um, they're just like acrylic jars with lids and this was this is actually more expensive than I thought it was gonna be is like $15 um, but I figured I would split this up and put through well like a couple in our guest room because I have a bar cart that's gold with glass in it right now, but I don't think it's really gonna go with our house. So what I'm thinking of doing is spray painting it white and putting it in our guest room, like in the corner, in one of the corners of the guest room and having kind of like all the bath stuff on there. Um, so it's very easily accessible for any of our guests. And um, so I'm, I'm thinking like putting these on there with um, cotton balls, Q-tips, whatever other bath essentials I can think of. And then having like towels and um, I actually ordered a um, little like vanity mirror from Ikea, which I think I already packed up. Um, and so I won't be able to show it to you, but um, I got that as well to put on that bar cart So I thought that'd be really cute and then whichever ones I don't use in the guest room I'll use in my vanity. So I thought that was um, a good find and then Got a couple more items. I picked up these Like kitchen towels, that's what they're called kitchen towels. There's four in this pack and they were they were actually really really inexpensive i want to say they were like 3.99 no yeah like 3.99 or maybe 1.99 sorry i'm like doing really bad with prices today but this is how big they are i mean that's that's pretty that's pretty big that could be i mean honestly if it was a little smaller it could be like a really cute placemat but there's four of these I thought that was really farmhouse feeling um, so it's kind of like a light navy almost periwinkle so I picked those up um, just so that our kitchen is stocked and we don't run out of anything <clears throat> and then I think I got like two more items I picked up this like little paintbrush set from Ikea as well this was $1.99 and I have to stain a few things um, and so I didn't want to use like any expensive paint brushes so I figured I'd just pick these cheap ones up and so I'm like opening them and just use this for the stain and if they get ruined they get ruined if not well good I'll be able to reuse them but um, I have a couple things to stain so I figured I'd pick those up and then the last thing I picked up were these cutting boards. This is like a teal one and then there's a gray one. It's a two pack. Pretty sure it's $1.99. And honestly, we don't need, we really don't need any cutting boards um, or any more cutting boards. But we don't have any like this that are just like super thin and um, lightweight. Uh, but the main reason I picked 
this up was for this gray one. And um, I told you guys I'm doing, I'm redoing my vanity since it's actually gonna be in our bedroom for a change. And so I want it to look really nice. And I figured that I could put this like on the vanity where I do my makeup. And so when it gets, when it gets dirty, I can just run it under some water and clean it off real quick. So this is the main reason I got this, not really for a cutting board, but for another purpose. But um, I picked that up. And I mean, $1.99 for two of them. I thought that was a great deal. Um, so that is all I have from Ikea. Um, in the next couple days, I'm gonna be getting an order from Holler, the online dollar store that I'm super excited about. I've never um, purchased from them before. So just stay tuned for that. That should be coming um, later this week. And then I'm also going to, I'm gonna try to um, do like a, bake with me like in the kitchen um with me kind of video we'll see how it turns out um but i am making i'm actually like headed to the store after this to pick up some things for a cake for the fourth of july that i need to make real quick it's my favorite cake of all times and so i figured i would try to share it with you and see how that turns out um, if you didn't see my last video, it was kind of like a vlog style video um, of when we took a day trip, like literally a day trip, 24 hours, um, to um, the mountains in North Carolina. Um, so if you didn't see that, it'll be linked below. Um, and let me know what you think of that. How you, if you guys like vlog style videos or if you guys just like hauls, um, it really seems like my, like the hauls are a lot more popular than like the house updates or vlogs. So just let me know what you guys wanna see on my channel. But anyways, if you um, liked this video, give it a thumbs up, I really appreciate it. Also comment, um, and if you guys have done any Ikea shopping, let me know, I'd love to see. Um, but yeah, just um, like this video, subscribe to my channel, I really appreciate it. It makes me feel good and makes me, you know, want to make more videos for you guys. But I will um, see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.